even if there is only one possible unified theory, it is just a set of rules and equations. What is it that breathes fire into the equations and makes a universe for them to describe? Equations are just the boring part of mathematics. I attempt to see things in terms of geometry. We shouldn't be surprised that conditions in the universe are suitable for life, but this is not evidence that the universe was designed to allow for life. The usual approach of science of constructing a mathematical model cannot answer the questions of why there should be a universe for the model to describe. Why does the universe go to all the bother of existing? There is no prescribed route to follow to arrive at a new idea. You have to make the intuitive leap. But the difference is that once you've made that intuitive leap you have to justify it by filling in the intermediate steps. It often happens that I have an idea, but then I try to fill in the intermediate steps and find they don't work, so I have to give it up. If we do discover a complete theory, it should in time be understandable in broad principle by everyone, not just a few scientists. Then we shall all, philosophers, scientists, and just ordinary people, be able to take part in the discussion of the question of, why it is that we and the universe exist. If we find the answer to that, it would be the ultimate triumph of human reason, for then we would know the mind of God. Now twice zero is also zero. Thus the universe can double the amount of positive matter energy and also double the negative gravitational energy without violation of the conservation of energy. It is said that there's no such thing as a free lunch. But the universe is the ultimate free lunch. If there were a complete set of laws that would infringe God's freedom to change his mind and intervene in the world. It's a bit like the old paradox, can God make a stone so heavy that he can't lift it? But the idea that God might want to change his mind is an example of the fallacy, pointed out by Saint Augustine, of imagining God as a being existing in time. Time is a property only of the universe that God created. Presumably, he knew what he intended, when he set it up.